How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. In this video we're going to be talking about the last trailer hitch you'll ever need to buy. Alright guys, I recently got this heavy duty truck with a lot of towing capacity and when I did I knew that I needed to get a heavy duty hitch to go along with it. I did a lot of research on it and what I ended up deciding on is the BW tow and stow receiver hitch. Now I don't know about you guys, but one thing I really hate is having to swap out the hitch on my truck. Depending on what size ball the trailer needs, the height of the trailer and all of that, you could end up needing four or five different hitches. But with this BW tri-ball tow and stow hitch, I'll never have to do that again. This one hitch will do everything that I need it to do. Now we're going to get in here, we're going to talk about the features of it, we're going to talk about a few accessories that I got to go along with it. But before we do that guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a big old thumbs up. I will have links to this hitch as well as all the accessories in the description below if you want to get them for yourself. Alright guys, now BW gives you a lot of different options. We're going to talk about my configuration and what some of the other options are. Uh, so I did go with the tri-ball hitch that's going to have a 1 and 7 8, a 2 inch and a 2 and 5 16. All of your standard ball sizes, so no matter what trailer I'm pulling, I should have the size ball that I need. Also went with the seven inch drop. Now that's gonna be dependent on the height of your truck. But with this seven inch drop, I should be able to reach any height that I need to for the trailer. It has several different adjustment points from level all the way down seven inches. You can also flip it over and you could go seven inches up as well if you needed to. They have different models for different receiver sizes. On the F-250, the receiver size is two and a half inches, uh, but they do also have your standard two inch and three inch models if you need that. The one that I have here has a maximum gross weight rating of 14,500 pounds with a maximum tongue weight of 1,450 pounds. So you are gonna be able to tow a lot of weight with this hitch. And of course, those numbers are gonna vary depending on your receiver size and the drop distance that you got. Mine has a nice black powder coat finish. You can also get it in chrome if you want that. And these VW hitches are made in the good old USA and they have a full lifetime warranty. So let's get in here and let's take a closer look at the features of it, all the different configurations it has, and then we'll talk about a few accessories. All right, guys, you're going to notice three different pins here. This first one is for adjusting the ball. So we're going to pull this pin out on the other side. We're going to pull out this pin, and that allows you to rotate this any way you need to from your 2 and 5 sixteenths, 1 and 7 eighths, or 2 inch. And once you've got it on the setting that you want it, you just drop your pin back in and you are good to go. These back two pins are going to be for adjusting the height of your hitch. So same thing, we're going to pull out these two pins on the other side. These pins are going to drop out and you can adjust the height up and down as far as you want to. You got a lot of drop there. You can also go up here and go even with your receiver if you want to. Now the other cool thing about this and the reason it's called the tow and stow is because if you drop all the way to the bottom you can rotate this back around and behind. Put your pins back in and you can stow it back here behind the hitch. You have a nice flat face on the front. If any of you guys have ever been walking around the back of your truck and knock your shin on that trailer hitch, you don't have to worry about that if you have it stowed back here whenever you're not towing. So I think that is a really cool feature. Now, like I said, you can also take this hitch out and flip it upside down if you want it to go up and you need to get a little higher with your ball, you can do that. Now let's talk about a few of these accessories that I have here. One major upgrade that I made was adding these hammer lock links here. So any of you Ford guys are gonna know what I'm talking about. These oval shaped holes that Ford gives you to attach your trailer chains to is a huge pain in the butt. Depending on the size of the hook, 
it can be a real pain in the butt to get those hooked into this hole. So one easy way around that is to use these hammer lock links here that make it super easy for you to latch your trailer chains on. Each of these links is rated for 12,000 pounds. So they're gonna hold up to most of the towing that you're gonna need to do. And they're gonna make your life a whole lot easier when you're hooking up your trailers. The other big upgrade is gonna be this bolt locking hitch pin. Now, not only is bolt gonna be a lot stronger and a lot more theft proof than most of your hitch pins out there, the really cool thing about bolt is it can be keyed to work with your ignition key for your vehicle. So this is my ignition key for the F-250. All I need to do is put it in there and turn, and that hitch pin comes right off. And then to lock it back up, you don't need your key, you just push it on there and it locks back in place and it has a nice rubber cap to keep your lock protected from the elements. And I just can't tell you guys how convenient this is. I hate having to have a bunch of extra sets of keys for different locks and hitch pins and things like that. So the fact that Bolt gives you the option of keying your hitch pin to your truck key is a huge deal. One other accessory that I definitely recommend you get, especially if you have a two and a half or three inch receiver, is to get you one of these reducer sleeves. Uh, this is a reducer sleeve to go from two and a half down to two inch. Uh, most people are gonna have a two inch hitch. So if you ever needed to put in like a recovery shackle or something like that, um, and you need to borrow a hitch from somebody for some reason, all you need to do is drop this reducer sleeve into your receiver and you could use some of those standard two inch hitches if you needed to. All right guys, that's all I got for the BW Tow and Stow receiver hitch. I will have links to this hitch as well as all the accessories we talked about in the description below if you wanna get them for yourself. I really think this is one of the best hitches out there. It has some really great features that you're not gonna see with any other manufacturers. And I think it's really worth what you're gonna be spending on a quality hitch like this. And like I said, it really eliminates the need for ever having to swap out your hitch ever again. So I hope this video helped you out guys. If it did, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.